Well, hi. Thanks for watching my video, and welcome back to another episode of the Skipper Let's Play. So, we have a few fun plans for today. However, before we get into that, you might notice the house looks a little bit different. Maybe you don't, but if you pay attention to detail, maybe you will. So, when I loaded up this household, a load of items were missing. Like, the sofa wasn't here, the table wasn't here. I'm not too sure what happened, but some of the items were just deleted, so I had to put some stuff back, like Skipper's bedside table, a few of the kitchen counters. It was very bizarre. But the saddest part was the stuff that had been deleted hadn't been put in the family inventory. Meaning that all the pictures I had hanging up here, the pictures of Emily and the pictures of Skipper and Dale, which are irreplaceable, were just deleted. <laughs> So now we just have one picture of Emily, which Skipper keeps in her bedroom. And luckily, Emily's little picture of Skipper wasn't deleted, but yeah, bit annoying. We lost some of our stuff, but I guess maybe it gives us an opportunity to make new memories. Looks like Skipper has decided to do some yoga. Not right now, Skipper. Oh, actually, it's quite late at night. Perhaps we'll send them to bed, and then we'll go and do something tomorrow morning, because I do have... a plan for like a day trip for these two. Also in the last episode, Hayden became a cat. She's no longer a kitten, so now she can take Chloe under her wing and play mother. Oh, you guys are so cute. You're reading a story about a king and a dinosaur, and now two dinosaurs. How are you reading Emily, a story that is just a picture book? Well, she's fast asleep. Good job, Skipper. You must have a real boring voice. All right, guys, until the morning. Okay, it's a new day. They just got done playing with flashcards. I think that's why Emily's throwing a little bit of a hissy fit right now. But don't worry, Emily. We have something very fun in mind for us to do today. So in the last episode, we had a housewarming party. And we saw a familiar face. Being Skipper's ex-best friend Lola, Midge's younger sister. So today, we're going to take Emily to Lola's house... And the reason why that's a fun day out is because Lola actually lives on a farm. So, guys, get your wellies on. Let's go see some farm animals. Emily will see you there. What's she going to get the bus? So Lola lives over here in Henford-on-Bagley. Here is Lola's house. She runs her own little farm. Let's go knock on the door and go and see her. She's got loads of rabbits. She's got a cow. She has a llama and she has loads of chickens and roosters. Here she is. Here's our old friend Lola. Hey, Lola. How's it going, buddy? Right, Skipper, I think you should probably change into some wellies. Oh, Emily's making her way through the farm. Which animal is she going to go and see first? You're walking very slow. <laughs> She's like teetering. Which animal you want to check out first, Emily? Are those two flirting with each other? Oh, I think Emily is intrigued with the llama. The llama seems pretty happy to see her. Yeah, good idea Skipper comes and supervises, just to make sure the llama doesn't try and eat the kid. You never know. Aww. That's cute. Good to teach kids about farm animals. I'm glad you're having a good time, Emily. Why don't we come check out the little chicks and the rabbits? Emily, you can pet the bunny. You can talk to the little chicks. She seems a bit scared. Don't worry, Emily, it's okay. You talking to the chick? He's waving at you. Oh, this is just too cute. Why didn't I take Emily to the farm sooner? This is adorable. I think she's going to pick up that little hen and give him a hug. Aww. Nothing quite like a bond between child and chicken. Can she cuddle a chick, I wonder? Yeah, I think she can. Oh, wow, there's loads of chicks. Ah, I wonder if she can feed the chickens. No, Emily, don't make a mess. This isn't your farm, this is someone else's farm. These chickens are loud. Very noisy chickens. Should we go take a look at the bunnies? Oh, I think just as we got here, they all hid away. Well, maybe while we wait for the bunnies to come out. Oh, here they are. Here's one. Chicken love from hugging a chicken. Oh, the chicken is such a sweet one. Emily has built so much trust with them that she didn't even get picked at when she showed some love. 
And she has a similar one from Hugging a Rooster. Right, guys, stop doing the flashcards. If you keep doing the flashcards, you're going to miss the bunnies because they're just hopping on by. I'm not sure if you're going to catch the rabbits. There's one over there. Are we going to go talk to a bunny? Aww. Oh, and she's maxed out her communication skill. Well, that's good because it's going to be Emily's birthday soon. I think it attacked her when she went to give it a hug. Yeah, she's going to have a birthday soon, and ideally I would like her to try and be at, like, the max of all skills before she ages up. Oh, that's so cute. That is actually adorable. Okay, well, you know what animal we haven't seen yet? The cow. Let's go talk to the cow. And then we would have said hello to all of the animals on the farm. Can she even pet the cow? I don't think she can. Oh, yeah, she can. She can pet the cow. The cow, I don't think, likes Emily very much. She just mooed very loudly at her. <laughs> don't mind me, cow. Just giving you a little pat. The cow looks concerned, very alarmed. All right, well, I think we've learned a thing or two about farm animals today. Is Skipper doing some gardening? That is very nice of you, Skipper, to help your friend Lola by weeding her plants. Very kind. Maybe Skipper would have liked to have lived a life on a farm. Does seem like a lot of work, though. So the next episode is basically going to be a birthday party for Emily. Because she's been a toddler for quite a while now. But I'm thinking, given that we're on the farm, I may as well use this opportunity to get her to walk a few laps around the farmyard. So that she um, gets the top movement skill. Come on, Emily. Just have a little waddle over here. Oh, she was talking to the birds. Yeah, we want to get her movement maxed out. So you can just do some laps. And also, it'll mean she'll probably sleep well tonight as well. So it's a win-win situation. Okay, now you can come back to the gate. Little trick for those of you that have children around but can't be bothered to take care of them. Tell them to run some laps. And if they refuse, tell them that you'll time them. And then there'll be no questions asked. They'll want to do it. Kids love being timed how long they can run a lap. So... Yeah, childcare tip from me to you, from someone who doesn't even have any children. All right, that's about as much as we're going to get. The sun's going down, it's 6.30, it's probably time to head home. And maybe we'll try and help Emily get the skills that she needs, ready for her big birthday party. All right, I think let's start off by potty training Emily, because she almost has a full skill in that. She's like potty level two. She needs to work on her thinking... And I think if we got Emily to do some yoga with Skipper in the garden, she could probably max out her movement. So Skipper, how about you come clean out the potty? Maybe we should comfort Emily first, because she's pretty upset that she shit all over the floor. So she had a little bit of an accident. So we'll comfort her and then we'll clean out the potty. There we go. It's not so bad. Oh, Skipper's level four of the parenting skill. That's pretty good going. Okay, Emily, why don't you play some dolls while Skipper cleans up your mess and then maybe we'll do a cheeky bit of yoga. Okay, Emily has mastered imagination. Time for a spot of yoga. We can both work on our skills. There we go, some late night yoga. Emily's one of those lucky kids that doesn't have a bedtime. She's not even trying to copy Skipper. She's just doing her own thing. She marches to the beat of her own drum, that kid. Oh, Skipper has gained the energetic lifestyle. Oh, sweet, sweet. Okay, Emily, probably a good time to go sit on the potty. You're such a messy child. Why do you have to make a mess all the time? As if Skipper doesn't have enough on her plate. Yeah, Emily, take yourself to the potty and then we'll do some flashcards. Come on, Emily, let's learn some numbers. We need to get your thinking skill developed. There we go. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure there's like a bonus trait toddlers get if they, um, if they age up with all of the skills they, like with maximum skills. Oh, Hayden's joining in. Hey, Emily has mastered the movement skill. Great. Let's celebrate with a shit in the potty. Go take a dump and then maybe we'll try and do flashcards again. Is that Midge? We've been thinking about trying for a baby. Oh, yeah, you guys should try for a baby. Good for you. I wonder who will be the one carrying the baby. Oh, you guys doing flashcards? Good idea. Well, on that note, the power's just been cut off for, 
fucking power conservation day bullshit. But at least we got a fun day on the farm yesterday. We've done a good amount of preparation for the big birthday party. There's still a little bit we could do. I mean, Emily, you should go potty. But I think we're in a pretty good spot to have a big birthday bash for the next episode and age up into a child. It's going to be weird seeing her all grown up. It's easy to lose the concept of time when you play The Sims 4, but I feel like at this point it's probably been like a year or two since the death of Emily's parents. But yeah, on that note, I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe, you know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.